Hey, what's going on everybody? Strategy Gaming back again and uh, I'm actually here today um, to make more videos for you guys. Um, just recently I've purchased a new microphone, I'm sure as you can tell compared to my old uh, videos and I was just thinking, hey, you know, like pretty convenient that um, I'm able to do this. So I thought to myself, you know, let's make one one YouTube video and, and, and see how it goes. Uh, so today I'll actually be doing kind of a, pr a process or how, you know, I still play Supremacy and uh, from time to time at least. And I think I'll go through my process of how I try my best to win every match I play. You know, I'm not successful at it every time, but um, I will, uh, I'll try to talk you through um, what I do and then maybe you guys can emulate it and you guys can be more successful in your games because it is it is uh pretty hard especially if you you're in a game which is pretty active like the game i'm playing right now is pretty active and we'll we'll talk more about that and i think we'll kind of do like a let's play how to win type thing like a tutorial but it's a let's play and i'll just teach you guys the cool shit you can do um and more so it's going to be focused on just how to win uh so I loaded into this map, I think it's only day two, so day three now actually just became a new day. So it's basically day two, you know, day three, whatever you want to call it. And I'm playing as Ukraine, as you can obviously tell. And when I first joined, the game was full, and this was the only only country I could play as. And um, But if it's, if it's not full, uh, and you have, you know, all the options, especially in this 31-player map, it... You know, I'll kind of teach you uh, what empire you should play as if you're beginning. That is, or and I'll teach you if you want to challenge what what empire you should play as. Um, so, if you're a new player, which I'm gonna kind of more so focus this on new players and not so much more the experienced ones who are looking for a challenge. So, if you're a uh, a new player um, and you know you don't have much experience and you don't you don't really know what you're doing. Uh, you want to choose a country that is sort of isolated, but you have options to expand, which is pretty much every country, uh, with the exception of honestly, uh, Greenland and Great Britain. They, you know, they're isolated, but it is a little, it's just a tiny bit challenging, and I just wouldn't recommend it for a new player. More so Greenland, just because you got two easy provenances here to take, but then you kind of have to go all the way across the uh, the ocean to take out South Canada, which is your next move. And it's very easy to defend against that, especially if South Canada is an experienced, or that's uh, that's Northern Canada, I'm sorry, uh, especially if Northern Canada is a um, uh, an experienced player. It's going to be really, really easy for them to just break your attack and then take over your entire country. Um, so I would recommend... Uh, if you're new, I would definitely recommend playing as Southern USA. And the reason I say that is because you see they have, this is their original uh, border. They just took out a little bit of Central USA. So you see they, ha they share three provinces, three border provinces, meaning they can use all these troops here and stack their borders. And it basically makes them invincible, you know, because... Central USA, which also shares borders with Southern USA and Northern USA, they have to split their troops up if they want to have any chance of defending their borders, which is, you know, it's problematic. And, and it's that's why it's so easy to play as Southern USA. They can easily just take out um, this country or, you know, whatever, you know, they can take out Central USA and then they can just take out uh, Northern USA because, like I said, again, Northern USA will have to worry about two countries borders they have to defend against them especially you know if you see a country losing you're going to want to invade so they're still going to have to defend their their uh their other flanks and it just makes it incredibly easy to just take over all of uh the east coast of north america with playing in southern usa and then after that you can just go on to north africa and win the game that's it's pretty pretty unfair in my opinion but uh, if you're an experienced player playing as Poland or Germany, which is just completely surrounded by players, uh, you know, there's it's it's hard to win, especially, you know, if two countries team up on you. It's it's pretty much game over at that point. Um, 
and uh yeah i mean that's kind of what i think of when you know choosing uh a nation and i think that's that's really something that will help you be successful and now uh next on the list we'll talk about what you should be doing um at the beginning of the game besides doing the the normal building of the recruiting offices and and all that so what you're going to want to do uh is you're going to want to choose allies but you want to choose them smartly you know you you're not going to you don't want to be allies with everyone around you okay because if you do that you're going to be limited in the options that you have uh to expand so for example i sent um I sent uh, messages to both Lithuania and Poland and Austria. Austria responded, we're allies now, Lithuania and Poland have not. But to my knowledge, Poland is an active player, so I do have to worry about them. But I didn't send one to Russia because that's where I wanted to expand to. You know, if I, you know, ally with everyone around me, how am I ever going to expand without attacking it? So that's something you also have to take into consideration. And with that being said, you also want to talk, you want to think about the resources you need, right? So I know I need oil. I need, you know, uh, kind of my more industrial uh, resources. I need those. And I see two easy takes in Russia, the caucus and uh, Astrakhan, Astrakhan, and also possibly Lithuania. You know, they got three coal provinces and it'd be an easy take actually and i'm not at war with lithuania for the anyone who's paying attention i do have a provenance of theirs but uh i actually was messing around uh with the uh the decrease morale button i had some gold mark left over and i was just curious to what it did and and it did that um so that was pretty cool actually but yeah i got a free province out of it um so yeah that's that's pretty much it uh, for the more the tutorial for this part because I can't really get into a lot of strategy and effectiveness of troops and how to utilize certain troops and why you should build you know a navy instead of a, a, a more ground for a ground uh, force because in my opinion you got to choose one over the other other you can either decide to produce a absolute fuck ton of railguns or an absolute fuck ton of battleships I'm not saying you can't produce you got to produce one. I'm saying you should choose which one you want to produce and stick to that. And maybe you have like, for instance, like, you know, you build like 20 rail guns and then you have like two or three battleships. I think that's the best course. You know, that way, if you try to split, you know, split it even Steven, you're going to run out of resources. You know, you won't be able to, to kind of function and, and that, and then we'll talk about air force. Air force is a goddamn monster of a thing. Um, so I'll just kind of talk a little bit about my plans. Um, so, you know, as you, uh, I'm playing as Ukraine, obviously. <laughs> I'll be shocked if you haven't noticed. And uh, me and Austria decided to team up on Romania, which was, uh, in my opinion, I believe a smart idea. And they're going pretty hard at it. I think if we look at... Okay, it's not going to be on this page. Okay, so if we go to Austria... No. Okay, yeah, so they've, oh, well, it won't update for some reason, which is weird, but they've, I think they start off with 100,000 troops like everybody else, so they've actually done pretty well for themselves, they haven't lost too many, I myself haven't done too bad, I think I lost 9,000 troops total, taking these two, and these were full of troops, which is probably not the best, you know, I probably didn't come off to the best start, but I'm really just looking to take these four provinces. I don't need anything more. I don't need anything less. Um, I'm hoping to actually be able to swing down into Bulgaria. And if I just want to have some provinces here, maybe I'll take uh, uh, this one too. If I can get the chance, maybe I'll, I'll talk to Austria and see if we can split it even Steven. And uh, yeah, and I, I'm planning on Austria being my long-term ally. You know, I think he won't limit me too much in terms of uh, expandability because he can take out, you know, most of Europe <clears throat> um, while I can take out, you know, northern, uh, northern Europe up here, Russia, and then I probably will move down into 
northern Africa, but that may change depending on who attacks me and, and, and what happens if Austria gets attacked, which these three players are extremely active and they may form a coalition, I'm, I have a feeling, uh, seeing as they're not in a coalition at all yet. So we will we'll see. I think this will be an interesting game. It's 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 sparked up quite a bit. We can you can see uh, Southern USA and and uh, Northern USA have just completely swallowed uh, Central USA. Not too much action over here. Uh, Spain's taken out Portugal as usual. Uh, looks like Libya has been taken out. Uh, French West Africa, and then um, uh, Arabia has taken out Syria. And the interesting thing is. Greece tried to take Bulgaria and just completely failed. Like, they've lost provinces. They lost a ton of troops. And I, I really can't believe it. And uh, Germany's uh, fighting Norway up here somewhere. I don't know. There's uh, been reports of massive amounts of casualties. And uh, France invaded and took Dublin. And then they lost it, which is pretty interesting. So we'll, we'll, someone's going to take over that country for sure. Um, I'm not sure the total loss yet, uh, which I'm curious. Uh, why is it not loading? Interesting. This is oh wait, because you have that. Boom. I'm such an idiot. Okay. Yeah. So Great Britain has lost seventy-four thousand. Oh, they lost it due to a rebellion. Oh no, that sucks. They had a strong foothold there too. So that's so it looks like France is going to take out Britain if they have 74,000 left. And and that's what I'm talking about. You know, you see that France or Great Britain took zero provinces of France, but I guarantee you they tried to do a naval invasion and they were attacked while they were disembarking and completely annihilated. That's, you know, that's what I was talking about when it's hard to place Great Britain a little bit, especially if you can get the jump on France, even then it may not work out. Um so it's just, you know, thinking like that and, and, and things like that. And, uh, yeah, I think this might be it for today. Uh, well, let me just go over how I, I kind of want to plan. I plan to to do this um, series, I guess you could call it. Um, you know, I'm thinking the 31 player map won't be too much of a challenge for me. Um, <clears throat> especially if, you know, if I build... Uh, right amount of our the right things you know let's put it that way if i build the right amount of things uh i think we'll be pretty successful and i don't see us having much trouble <coughs> and i mean i'm i don't know about gold mark i don't know it's it's pretty stupid how it, it works but I, I i might use it just to build up like fortresses and things like that but it's kind of up to you guys if you don't want me to use gold mark you know it's fair it costs money but to be fair, it's ridiculously cheap. I mean, it's 18 bucks for 50000 That's an instant railgun from Factory 1, you know? I think that's a bit unfair. Uh, let's see. Where's my... Oh, wait. So, we'll hop back into the game real quick. But, yeah. So, the way I plan to do this is do the 31-player map and then try to... If I win that one, great. I win that one. If I lose, I'll keep doing it until I win. But I don't think I'll lose this one. Um, and then after that... Uh, I'll do a um, a hundred player and then the five hundred player, and I have no promises on the five hundred player map. Like the thing with the five hundred player map is there's a gold mark user who will literally just kill everybody because he uses gold mark. Once factories come out, it's game over. He'll produce everything he needs to to get you know thirty artillery at the beginning uh, of the factory, um, and then he just wins. You know you can't really beat it. It's it sucks, but we'll see. Uh, if he uses gold mark, then I'll have to use gold mark and, and we'll just see what happens. But uh, this is it for now. Um, I will make a video probably after the fact once we take out Romania. I'm hoping every one, every week, every week, maybe like a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, I'll, uh, I'll upload a new video um, just discussing um, what happens, what happened over the week, and, and, and things like that. And then I'll talk about um, just more of the strategy. Because I think next week, uh, it's day three, so it's Tuesday. Let's say, in, yeah, day 10, uh, I should I should have a lot of, uh, a lot of troops. Uh, we should have a lot of true movements. We'll, we'll definitely have uh, Romania done in 10 days. Uh, and then I think, 
yeah, I think I think every week will be good. Um, and if if obviously if things happen, uh, I'm I'm unfortunately the reason it's every week. I would make it more, but I'm away from my computer uh, for a little bit. I'm away from my computer for half of the week basically um, because I go to school and then I have to go to work, and it's 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 one big fucking mess in my opinion. But that'll only last for about a month, and then I have uh, you know I'm on summer break from college and. Uh, uh, this will be a full-time thing I'm hoping you know I'm not doing this for uh, like likes or views or whatever it is you know I know I got a ton of goddamn views which I still wonder why uh, but I'm not doing this for likes or views I do it because I love it uh, I love teaching people things I work in a, an industry where it's all about teaching kids things well not kids but people you know this skill and I like this, you know, I like playing this game and I think it's interesting uh, for people to watch, you know, they watch it for a couple minutes and, and I'll try to keep it short. I know this one's not very short, but next time I will literally try to keep it very short, right to the point. But I had to do a big introduction because it was my first video back in a couple of years. And uh, I still think it's funny that I uploaded my first video when I was like 14 and it got 15,000 views and, and this one will, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a lot older than I am now, or than I was, and uh, this one will probably be, maybe break 30 views, but we'll see what happens. You know, if I do really well, I'll keep doing them, uh, just to see that people are inter interested. But <clears throat> anyways, that's it for today, and I will hopefully see you guys next week. All right, have a good night, guys.